Finland is uh, stating fairly strongly that she's pretty sure she'd never want to marry a man who was raised in Asia. Uh, you sure of that position, Karina, and why? Well, I'm, I'm pretty sure, but first I want to make my point clear. Um, I want to ask you, um, PTM, about, <laughs> about the position of women in Ceylon. Well, in Ceylon, uh, we, uh, I, for instance, I belong to the Western educated, English educated class, and I am uh, very much like uh, any American, you know, but uh, the large majority do not accept women as equals. They are definitely inferior to the men. Uh, I wonder whether you want to know anything more about it. I just can't understand that. How can they think that the woman can be inferior to a man? Well, inferior in this sense, they're politically equal, they have the vote, they're legally equal, but socially they're not. Because the, the people believe, and they believe very strongly, that the men have, have a particular function, quite independent of the women, who have something quite different altogether, and they are just not the same, they're not just human beings together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. May I say, um, in Japan, um, it, is, uh, it was said for women that um, when she is a girl, she must obey their parents, and when she is a wife, she, she become a wife, um, she have to obey their uh, husband. And when she become a mother, she have to obey their children. The son? Yes. In particular? Yes, in particular, son. Particular son? Way? Yes. Particular oh. son? And I just can't understand And Japanese women uh, put up with it for a long time. <laughs> you mean that you put a man before a woman? Well, well, I want to uh, ask you a question. Mm -hmm. uh, you say that the women are equal. In what way do you say that the women are equal to men? I know they are equal, probably intellectually, probably legally they are equal, politically they are equal. But in, don't you accept the fact that there are differences, and in certain ways that women are inferior to men? Do you accept that fact? Well, of course, they are maybe stronger than we are. But well, that's only no, a biological I, point. Don't you think that women have brains as men have? Of course, I, I, I strongly think so, and I think they are even superior to us. I think so, but that's not the point. I, I, think, I, th I think I don't believe that men are superior over women, because uh, we have always uh, learned that all men are created equal, and that includes men and women. And uh, in fact, women are uh, more intellectual than men. Yes, I agree with you on that. And that means that uh, in some cases, men are uh, superior to women, and in some cases, women are superior to men. Precisely, yes. But then your society doesn't, uh, when you're talking about the social enforced inferiority of women, uh, there's a contradiction here, isn't there? Well, the point is, it is something that has been accepted, not only by the men, but by the women too. Because, you know, it's, um, it's something that is accepted because there are the advantages for women too, you know, I mean. Now, for instance, let me explain this point. Uh, you know, all the girls that I, I met in American schools, they complain that the boys will never get up for a girl in a bus. But in Ceylon, I won't sit down in a bus if any girl is standing anywhere in the bus, for instance. Because I, I respect them because, as the saying goes, the, uh, the, the strength of a girl lies in a weakness. And I, I, I wanted to realize that point. Well, my point is that if a woman feels superior to man, and a man, woman is superior to man, but the woman wants to act inferior to man, you understand? When Why does she want that to act yeah. inferior? <laughs> Why? That's the reason. That's the question. Why? But because a man wants to become a master of a woman, I think. And so? <laughs> and so it, it, it may be good for women <laughs> that um, letting them uh, believe them this, this point. Well, aren't we so treating men as inferior <laughs> if, you, as you say, a woman knows she's superior, but a man wants to believe he's the master, yes. and so the women have a yeah, quiet yeah, conspiracy? Let's, let's, I think let's speak about that secret. <laughs> <laughs> you mean James M. Barry, and yeah. what every woman knows? Well, go on. Oh, yeah. But don't you think if, uh, if a woman is considered as uh, inferior in, in Oriental countries, it uh, hinders the progress of the country? It hinders the individualism. The point of this, all that it means is that there are particular functions which men do and particular functions that women do. I mean, it is quite uh, ridiculous to imagine that women can do everything that men do. And it's a fact that they can't. No, they can. Sure they 
plan. Everything, surely. I mean, I mean, the very fact that you're physically inferior means certain things, doesn't it? I mean, the point is this, the, I mean, now for instance, a society like... There are also weak men and strong men. <laughs> You know, but I go to there, are, <laughs> there are more uh, superior men than uh, superior women. There are more superior men. Think a little. I go to a boys' school with 600 boys and 10 girls, and I'm the only girl in my class. And I really feel that I'm superior to them in almost every case, except that I can't run as fast as they can in every place. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, of course, but you may be an exception, and that's why no. you, are, you are here today. That's an important point. No, it's in not only that. That's another, that's another case which shows that man is superior to women. In this case, a man can choose, can have many wives, but can women have many husbands? Why, there, there are countries in which that's possible. Well, yeah, but very seldom. But mostly really? men can have more, has, more wives than, he, than uh, a woman can have more husbands. Oh, why can't the woman have more husbands then? You well, because men have superior <laughs> over women. <laughs> What's your Do point you of view on that? Do you defend polygamy? Oh. That's right. Oh. Why? <laughs> well, I guess we've got to find out why. It is women. Just why? Well, oh. polygamy is good, I think. In my own opinion, polygamy is good. Well, why? Because it shows that men is superior over women. And uh, it is also good because it makes a man and a woman, and a man and women, a well-rounded person. How can you love a uh, man I couldn't understand that, Edgar. I couldn't understand that. You can't I understand couldn't understand that. that last point. Explain. It makes, uh, it makes a man a well-rounded person. Like, for example, this. If, in the case of women, suppose uh, f there are five women as a wife of a man, as How wives of men. What, yes. They must have cooperation in order to have unity in the home. They and have to have cooperation. Yes, they must in have order cooperation. To have unity. Yes. And they must have uh, cooperation in order to have unity in the home. And they must uh, have uh, cooperation in order to make a home, a, a home, a good place to live. For and a man. that means for both, for all, the, for the family. But why do they need only? Why do they need five women there? Well, Isn't because it's enough? polygamy. I don't think yeah, you've quite I mean, made your point. Why is it good for women? Well, it is good because it develops good personality. In this, I'm referring to a good personality because it makes a person a well-adjusted one. Like, for example, this. If we are in a group, we can adjust, we can, uh, we will learn how to adjust ourselves to one, uh, one's characteristics and one's habit. But if we are alone, we cannot uh, learn what uh, the, are the habits of other, uh, other women, what are the characteristics of other women. Can't we, we surely can. Yes, you, know, you, you, you can learn it, but in a different you way. You can learn it, but in a different way and a, di and a different effect. See? Uh, Edgar, the point is, do you defend the girls having, I mean, uh, if you have five wives, would you defend uh, each one of those girls having five husbands or something? <laughs> I mean, that's the point, that the girls object Will you please repeat your question? I want, I'm not that clear. No, if you said that uh, you would like to have five wives, okay. And I did not say no, that. No, I mean... Uh, Yo, well, well, let's but, expect so. You a hypothetical case, okay. Now, would you uh, allow each one of those five wives to have five husbands? The point is, what I say is, where polygamy exists, we have two, two uh, 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 criteria, you know, we have one sense of, uh, sets of values for the men and one for the women. And I don't think, I, I don't agree with that at all. Do you I cite the example that men ha can have uh, many wives because they are superior over women. No, they are not. They are. In no. which case? <laughs> In most cases. You mean that they have more brains as I have? They have more power to lead. No, they don't have in every oh, case. They not have every more. woman. In most cases. I mean that if a woman uses her brains, <laughs> she is superior. <laughs> no, no, wait a minute. Let's take it up. How can you love Just imagine five all women? Hmm? How can you love isn't so five important women? for her? Oh, you oh. can love ever. You that, can that, love that's all of them. That's an interesting point. I mean, this business of love. I think we should make some comments about that because that. Uh, and that lies the whole thing, you know, whether you marry for love or not, because <coughs> I think if you marry for love, you can't marry five women, it's pretty obvious. You can marry for love and still, you can, you can marry five women and still uh, marry them for love. I don't agree with that at all. Well, I would like to ma make my point clear. She, he marries domestic animals. <laughs> maybe, I think that, maybe I think not. That's a good place to leave it. Let's uh, go on. Do you have polygamy in Salon? No, certainly that? not. Certainly not. Of course... Uh, Don't the, tell me the, that there's the, no polygamy in the Ceylon. Well, there the, are the, the Muslims, you know, in Ceylon, who, of course, marry. They are, that's the, the law. 
But the single is the Bible and don't, certainly not. Oh, I see. So it does exist in your country, but Two you seven, don't. Yes. Well, now, let me ask you this. You're, uh, I'm worried about something Yama said. Uh, she said that a Japanese woman is taught to obey her parent when she's a child, her husband when she's a wife, and her son when she's a mother. But the Japanese women have the vote, don't they? Yes, we have. We have vote. Well, the thing that confuses me is at what point does a child and a woman begin to have the responsibility that will help them be a citizen? The point is this, Mrs. Waller. The, now, for instance, take the American woman as example. They do everything that they, they want to do everything that the men do. As a result, I think, for instance, a home, home, American home, would not be the real home, you know, that we associate with the, the family fire burning and with, you know, mother at home and, you know, the, the, it's a different conception altogether. That's where I think the... We, we, that's why the saying goes that a woman must stay at home because we wanted to be at home and be a mother and, you know, that... Try, try to understand it's the home of a democratic country. Do you? The point is, we want the women to be mothers uh, uh, voluntarily. We don't want to force them to do that. We want, I mean, it, we want them to, it, to be spontaneous. But they can be mothers too. They can be mothers though they have a home like that. But I think the, the reason why things like juvenile delinquency in this country is so high, we have nothing like that in Ceylon, or, I mean, most Eastern countries, very little rather. Well, uh, well, it's I think largely due to this fact. You know, I'm, I, I'm not an American, but I think that what they do, they train for the, their children for their life. And I think that's the main thing. They, they just, uh, the children, they are ready to begin their own life as individuals when they leave their homes. The same with us. Oh, is it the same with... Yes, it is the same, <laughs> completely the same, that we are trained for life. Yeah, but if, you, if a woman, if a girl leaves a home in Philippines, mm -hmm. Can, can she go to university and get a profession? Sure, she can go to a university and study. <laughs> of course. As a matter of fact, 60% of yeah. the people in our university are women, not men. 60%. But why do you defend then polygamy? Well, I defend polygamy in this case. In my humble opinion, I think polygamy is uh, profitable to both men and women. <laughs> But because of this now, now, wait, let me finish first. Let me just clarify one point. It does not exist very widely in the Philippines, does it? No, not exactly. Does it exist at all? It exists, but uh, only in uh, some parts of the Philippines. I see, and you're, you're uh, uh, advocating a social revolution here in this sense, are you? I maybe, maybe not. Just a second, Edgar. I want Yama to get to come back to the point that I asked her a moment ago about at what point does a child and a woman begin to learn how to be responsible? Do they vote what their husbands vote? No, they don't. <laughs> because um, uh, Jap Japan is com uh, Americanized. Before the World War II, um, Japan is com was completely Oriental. But um, after the World War II, um, under the American occupation, Japan was completely changed and Americanized. So well, young people want to become Westernized, and old people want to clean their tradition and their custom. <laughs> but there's much conflict in Japan now. So, but I want to become westernized. But I don't want to lose my, tra uh, my good point in Japan. How can you compromise that? <laughs> well, I think it's possible, Karina. I think there's a, a lot of good in the West, Western ideas and ideas. The, certainly that we haven't in the East. But at the same time, there are, there's a lot in the East that you can learn in the West. I think a compromise would be the ideal. Let Yama answer how she compromises this. Oh, oh I, I, I love Japan, and I love um, Japanese things. But uh, sometimes um, our tradition is not good, because um, for, for especially women, <laughs> And women in the country, especially in the country, um, if women read newspapers and um, literary books, and uh, if they discuss uh, about politics, they don't, they don't dis, uh, they are not disapproved by. They are not approved. Oh yes, they are not approved by um, old people and their husband, and sometimes. Their husband forsake them. It's really, 
It exists now. If you were a Japanese man, oh. would you forsake your wife if she were westernized? Will you please uh, repeat the question? If you were a Japanese man now, would you for forsake your wife if she were westernized? If she learned to read and discuss politics? <laughs> oh, I won't forsake her. I yes. married her because I love her. And I won't for forsake he her. He has several others, you remember. <laughs> but what about the young girls in your position in Japan? Is, you say there's much conflict. Suppose you want to go ahead to university, get an education, develop a profession. Uh, does this give you any handicap? Yes, they do. But in my, in my family, they don't. But other, other people, they do. But well, why? Because um, if women go to college and they get uh, education, um, when they are afraid that uh, women will be conceited. And would it be harder for her to find a husband then? Yes. <laughs> now, what about Salon? Is a woman who is westernized is... Oh, but she doesn't have anything to say about her husband anyway, does she? No. Uh, that brings to an interesting point about uh, arranged marriages which seems to be quite strange here and nobody seems to approve of it. But um, in my country and in most Eastern countries, you find that. And as a matter of fact, the large majority of the world population approve of it, you know. Uh, probably that's a fact. And um, the, the, uh, the girl really has very little choice in, about the matter uh, because she loves, uh, she approves of what the parent decides, you know. But uh, the, the point is that she's always asked and she can, of course, say no, but it so happens that uh, she accepts and, uh, you know, um, as Mrs. Wallace says, they, they inevitably fall in love, you know, later on. It happens. It's quite strange. You may not believe it, but it does happen. And I think the fact that we have had any divorce, I mean, it's quite, I mean, it's, it's something rare. If a person divorces, it's almost not known. But uh, one in every four marriages here is a divorce. That's a fact, Karina. I, I want to know. Yeah, but I'm not an American. We don't have no, that I, much point divorce. Point is, you're that point with me. Yeah, but I'm... I'm we don't have that much. But to what is the end. trend? You've said that far more people in the world have societies where there are arranged marriages than love marriages, as we have in the West. What is the trend in the world? What's the trend in, in your own three well, countries? Uh, here? Uh, for instance, in my country, the class that I belong, the Westernized class, there, there's far more divorces in my class than there is in, among the rest of the people. So we consider going backwards, not going forward. I mean, that's the point. In Japan, all right. It's the but same. Think of the many uh, arranged marriage. But um, what's the I direction? Are there more and more or less and less? Oh, less and less. Well, now, why <laughs> is that? Oh, <laughs> many people agree with uh, love. Uh, don't agree with uh, ma uh, arranged marriage. Now, does this have anything whatsoever to do with what's happening politically? in your countries? Yes, of course. Now, in my country, we were under Western influence for uh, 500 years, from 1505. And, uh, of course, the Western influence and ideas of, uh, you know, this type of social ideas that we get from the West. Do you were, think that's good? Uh, a love marriage? Yes. La of course, I approve of a love marriage, certainly. I'm, I mean, I won't marry unless I love my girl. There's no doubt about it. <laughs> and you too? I approve of that. But how can you love five women? <laughs> Let him off the hook, Harry. We can love five can women. The word out. Like, for example, this. You, you, have, uh, you can also love five men if you want to do. Oh, we cannot. If you want it. We cannot. Oh, you can if we you want it. We cannot. No. If you want it, you can. No, we cannot. Oh, no, don't tell me. No, it's not it. true love. <laughs> don't tell me it's a true no, love. No, not true love. Don't tell me it's not a true love. You can love your father and your mother equally, can't you? Yes, of that's right. We can. That's the point. Well, you, can you can love your uh, mother, your sister, your brothers equally. How much more your wives? Your wives. But do you think the same love uh, uh, toward the father and um, mother or and uh, your... Uh, uh, we your hear it wife? said that Japanese women make the best wives in the world. I think you've already showed why <laughs> this is true <laughs> with this constancy that you've displayed. But I'm still trying to understand a little bit better the values in the two. If we're talking about building up children and women to be good citizens, 
what are the values that you have that we lack, and what are the values that we have in the West that you lack? Or, well, I think uh, the price you pay, you know, for too much equality with men, socially and every way, is that you lose the feminine quality that is a woman, you know. Once that, once that is removed, you don't, you're not worth anything at all if you're not a female. The feminine quality in you. Do you think that I'm not female at all? I, I mean, I, I'm not looking <laughs> to you personally. I think you are. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, in what case you mean that the clothes and the sensitive heart and so on? Don't you think that we can have a sensitive heart, but we have uh, our, our um, social rights and equality? No, but when you go on acting like a man, I mean, you, I mean, it's inevitably you're losing that part in you, you know. I mean, I think a woman should realize that she's a woman. That is important, you know. Oh, we realize. Yeah. Oh, by the way, yeah. <laughs> what, are the acts, what are the acts of the woman that uh, shows that he is uh, quite, uh, he is uh, adapting the ways of the man? What are the acts that men act, that women act, that shows that he is acting the way of a man acts? Well, actually, that's a fair, I mean, you can't sort of make a general statement because it's found in the general behavior, you know? You've already said at the beginning that American girls don't get the politeness that they would yes. like to have because they've been trying to be too equal. That was, yes. that would answer part of your question, wouldn't it? But why do we need that? I don't, I don't belong after any, any respect like that. But I want some person to respect me as a person, as an individual. But that, that, but that doesn't show that women will act as a man, like a man. Yes. His ways are a man. No, the point is, it's, it's not a case of one incident or two, it's a general pattern of behavior, which is very obvious to, I mean, very obvious to me, if it's not to you. What kind? Yeah, but go ahead. Don't you think uh, women should have equal education? Of course, that? certainly. Equal education, equal political rights, equal legal rights. I mean, there should be no discrimination because she's a woman. But yet, a woman should realize that she's a woman and not a man, and act it, like a woman. That's, that's the point that but I'm making. But we re always realize that. We always realize no, that. You may, but not all women. I have seen quite a few who do not in this country. But, Tisa, how can you get complete equality that you say you want if the woman isn't allowed to have a profession, if, as you say, she must be home and be home all the time, Aren't you saying two contradictory things but at the, point the same is, time? I think if the husband can afford to run the family, I think the woman should stay at home because she's, uh, she's an integral part of the home. If she is removed and put in the office, then there's no but, home. But why do you then need education? Do you think that my family educates me only for being a mother? So uh, you mean to say that you have education to get a job? You yes. Have, you learn for the sake of learning. I learn for the sake of learning, not to get a job. But that's the point that women ought to do. How can they vote? How can they do anything if they are not educated? Of course, they should get education. But that doesn't mean that they should go and get a job. There, there are no connection between the two. But think a little. A woman must get a job and a profession. Think a little. I am married. I have five kids and a husband. So my husband dies, I have no profession. What can I do? But that's different. If you're educated, you can always get a job. No, not if I don't practice. I'm not so good. I can't get so good possibilities to get any. Of course, you are presuming that your husband will die very soon, but that's, I mean, that's a rare exception, I mean. Yeah, but we must accept those exceptions. We must think well, of probably, them. Well, probably, I mean, uh, that, that, that doesn't answer my point at all. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm merely referring to a pattern of behavior that I've noticed where, you know, the women all go to work and there's sort of, the home is broken up so badly, you know, there's no home. I mean, no, it doesn't show. Just, uh, just a minute, Edgar. I think uh, this point has to be clarified. I think what Karina's saying is what is the incentive to learn? to develop yourself in a very specialized profession if you know that the minute you get married you aren't going to use it. Where's the incentive in education for yes. a woman? Yes. Well, I'm sure, no, I'm sure that women can do uh, uh, certain types of work without, uh, uh, risk, I mean, without interfering with their family work. For, for instance, my mother was a principal of a girls' school for about 15 years. And I mean, she was a very good mother and she, I mean, that didn't interfere with her family activity at all. I mean, but that doesn't uh, mean that all women are like that, you know? You're just, you're confused. What do you mean now? You mean that the, you take only exceptions now, don't you? No. Uh, all that I say is that, that... Women ought not work. No. All that I say is that women must realize that she is an integral part of the home. That we want her for the sake of building up a good home. After all, the home is the de unit in, in society, after all. I mean, uh, we are not just sort of scattered individuals. We belong to homes, you know, and home is different from a house because it's a woman that differs, makes a difference between a home and a house, you know. But think of the modern society. They put homes full of those machines, washing machines, dishing machines, and so on. Everything goes so quickly. If I make food, I can just 
Th throw everything away? I have no time. My, chir my children are at school. What can I do? Can I have a job? Oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. Or see the home and need some stockings I could get much cheaper in a store? That, that, that's, I said it's nice saying that the trouble with women is that they rather mend our ways than our socks. So, <laughs> that, that answers the question there, you know. No, I think Karina's, uh, go ahead, Yara. This is typical oriental, I think, uh, in Japan, uh, it is not good for women that uh, she has um, uh, 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 occupation, oh, profession? profession. Yes. <laughs> it, it's not good. Uh, do you defend it? I think. Well, just a minute. What, what do you look forward to I doing? Do, I don't defend, but uh, for a woman, um, if she is in home peacefully, uh, for women, it is very uh, happy, I think. What do you look forward to? Oh. Only uh, <laughs> bringing up children. Or but what do Wait. you do if your husband yeah. dies? No. We, we or if you get, get a position that you must work? We can get education, and when uh, our m woman is, um, not die, <laughs> woman is in exhaustion. <laughs> I'm sorry, no, no, you, I, we've you got to leave before. it at that. I'm sorry, uh, Edgar, our time is uh, up, and we still uh, haven't <laughs> solved the problem, and I'm terribly sorry, but we must leave until <laughs> next week, then, at this time.